So someone spotted a new migration app for PC in Windows Insider preview builds. And it looks like Microsoft is working on a new migration app for PC to simplify the process of transferring data and settings to a new PC. And this could be because Windows 10 is going to reach the end of support very soon, actually end of this year, 2025. So the people who can't upgrade to Windows 11 because their hardware isn't supported, if they buy a new PC, they can use this new PC migration app to transfer their data to the new PC they bought, maybe. Yeah, this could be the main reason Microsoft is working on this. I saw this article on XDA. Actually, this is how I know about this. Again, Microsoft is working on making PC migration painless with a new app. So at Twitter, he actually reconstructed a UI of this new app, which shows how this thing is going to look. So this is the person who actually discovered this feature in this build okay and this is the guy who made uh, the ui so you'll have two options backup to this pc or transfer file to a new pc this is basically uh, the migration thingy and it looks like you have to be connected on same network and uh, yeah this is like otp thingy that you have to enter on both devices just to be clear this isn't the actual application okay the actual application might look different than this maybe not that much actually this is this actually looks convincing and this new app is actually going to be really useful to migrate to a new pc but while i was looking at this uh, i found out that we already had something like that like the migration tool from Microsoft already, which I never heard about, probably due to it's not user friendly. It's like command line tool. You have to use it through the command prompt and all that. Now it looks like Microsoft is actually working on a UI to do the PC migration uh, like this one. Okay, so this is interesting. You know, this thing will be able to only transfer your data from one PC to another, but it won't be as powerful as some third party applications. As you guys know, there are tools to completely clone one drive to another one. Uh, I would like to see th that feature in this actually. I don't know if that's going to come out or not, but that would be much better actually. Like this is fine. Like we, we just want to transfer our data. That's fine. But what if we want to like completely clone our disk to the new one? Let's see what happens whenever this thing officially comes out. I'll make another update video on this. So for now, yeah, that's it. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this new feature? Is it going to be useful or not? I think this is, yeah, I mean, definitely going to be useful. And I'm pretty sure, again, as I said, Microsoft is working on this probably because of like many people are still on Windows 10. Some just chose to stay on Windows 10. Some just can't upgrade to Windows 11. So for those people who can't upgrade to Windows 11, if they buy a new PC, like they'll be forced to buy a new PC. I mean, many people will buy a new PC or maybe they'll move to some other operating system like Linux or something. But it's kind of hard for people to like completely switch over to Linux. I don't want to debate on this. I also tried switching to Linux, but I failed. Uh, let's just not talk about that. But I think that could be the main reason Microsoft is making this new app, just making the migration easier. I mean, if you have a work PC, like you have many files on your system, you can't reinstall Windows or upgrade to Windows 11 or something. This is definitely going to be useful. If you buy a new PC, you can just transfer all your data to your new PC without any issues. I hope that's going to be as easy as it sounds. Don't worry, I'll make a update video as soon as this thing comes out. All right, so that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.